Hi, I'm Mark for ACLS Certification Institute, and welcome to another edition of ACLS Mailbox. This is where we review comments from viewers like you and then present them in our videos. So our first comment comes from Jacob Ross. And this is a comment going back to uh, the ABG video where I had said that the P in pH stands for percentage or parts of hydrogen. I was corrected by Mr. Ross who says, great video, pH actually stands for the power of hydrogen. So the pH in pH stands for power of hydrogen, not necessarily parts or percentage, but power of hydrogen. Thank you, Ross. Our next comment comes from Dustin Crops. Like and appreciate your videos, need clarification. You mentioned that in VFib VTAC algorithm, it's drug shock, drug shock, drug shock. In the algorithm, it reads shock, drug, shock, drug. Dustin, you're absolutely right. We always start with defibrillation or administering the shock first. And I did say drug shock, drug shock, drug shock. But what I mean is in between each of those shocks, we're going to administer a drug or a medication with the hopes of making that next shock more effective. So after we administer a shock, we're going to give a drug, either a presser or an antiarrhythmic, so that the next defibrillation attempt may be successful and return the patient to a perfusing rhythm. I want to thank everyone for the wonderful comments we receive online, and keep these comments coming. I'm Mark for ACLS Certification Institute, and this has been ACLS Mailbox. <laughs>